All right, let's take a look here at testing in Terraform. And so what we have here on the left-hand side is our usual um, uh, pyramid that tells us the layers of testing. And so I kind of want to walk through the layers there and talk about a, a bit of the uh, tools that are available to the Terraform community and uh, you know the reason why we'd want to move up the pyramid here to get uh, better tests. And then we'll take a look at Terra tests. So at the bottom, we have static analysis. And this is where you test your code without deploying. And you've been doing it all along. When you do Terraform validate, Terraform plan, or you're using Sentinel, uh, you're doing static analysis. And that just means that um, we're testing, you know, like the composition or the, the shape of our code or like its outputs to what it says it should be doing. Okay, but you can't catch all your problems there. And that's where you move on to unit testing. And unit testing, uh, you know, traditionally means like in programming to test like a particular function, its inputs and its outputs. Um, it's a little bit harder for infrastructure because, um, you know, there, you have to have it connected to other things. So it, the definition is a little bit warped, but the idea here and specifically with Terraform is you're just testing a single module. And that really says like, okay, well, you need to really pare down that module to be uh, of the small scope. And that's where you end up dividing your modules into very small units of work. And so for tooling here, we got TerraTest, Kitchen, uh, Terraform, and InSpec. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's where that motivation came with, um, you know, TerraGround, the last thing saying, okay, let's split them up into smaller stuff. Uh, we have integration testing. This is pretty much just using multiple um, uh, uh, modules together. You know, so you say, okay, well, I know that this Lambda function is working, but do I know it works in conjunction with this SQS queue or something like that? Then you have end-to-end -end testing, and this is where you're testing basically like business use cases. So it's not just saying, okay, from a technical perspective, but from a business use case do or the uh, customer use case, do we meet the requirements here? Uh, and this uh, is very hard because what you have to actually do is set up a persistent test network uh, environment. But once you have one, you're going to be in really good shape. Uh, one example of a uh, test environment, and it is paid, but Gruntwork has their own called the Gruntwork Reference Architecture. Uh, but you know, if you had to do it uh, without that, you'd have to just roll your own kind of environment. So, you know, if you do want a good breakdown of all these different kinds, uh, you know, Jim from Gruntwork has a complete talk on automated testing for infrastructure as a code. I strongly recommend it because it really gives you a better scope than what I can cover here. Um, but let's just go take a quick look at TerraTest. So TerraTest allows you to perform unit tests and integration tests on your infrastructure. It tests your infrastructure by temporarily deploying it, validating the results, then tearing down the test environment. And so here's an example of what a, uh, a test function would look like in TerraTest. It is written in Golang. I know Golang can be very hard to use, but you don't need to know much about it. If you, you pretty much copy and paste it and then just kind of tweak the values to get the result you want. So, you know, hopefully that helps to, uh, to tell you how you would test in Terraform and you know a bit about TerraTest, okay?